So one of the questions that a lot of people have asked me is um, how do you start when you start on a film? Do you start off a script? Do you watch the film? Do you watch parts of the film? How does it actually work? Do you talk directly to the director? Or do you talk to the studio? So um, this is actually a complicated question because there's not one simple answer to it. In some cases, um, you work off a script. In some cases, you work off a movie that is partially edited and is being compiled. And sometimes you work on a full movie that is already done. Um, so let me give you a few examples. Uh, but let's uh, start right at the beginning. Usually it's the case that my agent, Amos Newman, who works for WME, gets a phone call from a studio and they ask if I am interested in working on a specific movie. Then my agent calls me and says like, Tom, are you interested in working on this movie? Then there is like some going back and forth, like what potentially uh, this could mean. And in the meantime, I got um, reached out by the studio with an invitation to see the film, uh, an invitation to meet the director, or I get sent a script that I can read. So let's now go to the examples. Um, for instance, 300 Rise of an Empire, which was the first big movie that I was able to score on my own here um, uh, for Zack Schneider, was a movie where they were waiting a really long time what to do with the music. And um, when they finally reached out to me if I wanted to do the score, there was only five, six weeks left. So I had a finished film um, and I had only five, six weeks to do the movie, um, which is actually pretty scary because it was the first big movie that I was doing on my own in LA and I only had five, six weeks to do it. Um, so that is one example. The other example is, for instance, Mad Max Fury Road. Uh, when I flew to Sydney and when I met George for the very first time, I only saw a movie that was partially edited. It didn't have a beginning, it didn't have an ending, and um, uh, the movie was very long and it was still very much work in, in, in progress. And I had roughly 18 months to, fin to finish the, the, the final score. So uh, I didn't work on it nonstop for 18 months, but you know, on and off, but we had 18 months to really develop the score uh, for that movie. Uh, another example is uh, Black Mass, uh, the movie directed by Scott Cooper with Johnny Depp. Um, there was also a movie where they waited a long time uh, uh, to find the right person to do the score for the film. And on that movie, I only had four weeks to do the film. Um, and right now I'm working on uh, Dark Tower and on Justice League. And these movies um, are going to finish um, somewhere in July or something like that, or August, uh, I'm not 100% sure. And we're now filming this, and this is uh, early January. So there's a lot of time to, to really work on that. And Dark Tower, I started on already in, uh, in September. Um, let me give you another example, is um, uh, the movie Brimstone, um, which is an alternative movie directed by a Dutch director Martin Kolhoven. It's a really wonderful movie that takes place 200 years ago. Uh, it's a must-see movie if you want to see a real female heroine. Um, and in, uh, in this case, um, I talked with him about this movie six years ago when we had coffee. And I said uh, that I really wanted to do this movie, but he wasn't sure if I was the right guy and maybe he wanted to work with a different composer. Then he sent me the script. Two years ago, I read the script. I was so incredibly excited about it. And I said, Martin, I really love you. To, would love to score the movie. And he said, yeah, but I'm still working on a different composer. So he still wasn't convinced. Uh, so I read the script. I all had these ideas in my mind. And then later he called me back. It's like, you know what? I really want to do this with you. Um, so I started writing music based on the script. I've never seen any shot of the film. And what's really funny about that is that um, you have your own fantasy and because of that you make um, you know images in your head um, what this movie potentially could be. So um, some of the music didn't work to the film but a lot of the music worked really well to the film. So if you have a chance to see that it comes out around March um, um, have a have a look at it. it it's a really nice classic um, Italian style string score very much Ennio Morricone, a very 50s, uh, 60s, so I'm very happy with that. So I hope this answers the questions a little bit about 
in what stage are you going to get introduced into the filmmaking. Um, sometimes it's very early, like up to almost two years before, and sometimes it's just a couple of weeks before the deadline. So I hope this answers your question.